How's it going YouTube and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be running Strawberry Pass. So the Strawberry Pass is a trail that I ran about two years ago and over time trails do get harder just from the rain, the snow melt and uh, people going through it, it'll get rutted out. So after about two years, we're gonna go ahead and run Strawberry Pass again, see how much it's changed. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. I've got some big news and I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. So I'll make sure to tell y'all how to enter into that. As always, if you enjoy this video, please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. The trail begins about two miles down a dirt road and there will be a turn off with a gate on your left. This will be the actual beginning of the trail. The gatekeeper is a large rock that is blocking half of the path. This trail is fairly easy for the first mile or two and it's barely little more than a dirt road with a few rocky sections. Hey driver, you got this pointy rock at your door. You're good. After a few miles, you will start to see bigger rocks and the trail will begin to get more interesting. This is the beginning of the hard section of the trail, a tight rocky climb followed by a dip in another rock ledge. This is the only section that gave the stock four-door Jeep an issue due to the longer wheelbase and the breakover angle. The last obstacle of this trail is a short rock garden. The line to the right will actually be the easier of the lines, even though the larger rocks make it appear to be more intimidating. There we go. 
There you go, slow. Slow, keep that line. You got it, keep coming. Slow. There you go, slow. You're good. From here on out the trail will be an easy dirt road with small rocks here and there. The light rain shower also made things interesting for those of us with the tops and doors off our jeeps. Okay, so that was Strawberry Pass. It's definitely gotten just a little bit harder over the past two years. Uh, I still wouldn't say it's a very difficult trail. We had a stock Rubicon make it through, so, you know, it it is gonna be challenging in a couple areas, but it is a fun, doable trail if you wanna come out and uh, just have a day trip. The scenery's great, and it's just an awesome trail. So I just recently hit 1,000 subscribers, and if you know anything about YouTube, that opens up a whole lot of uh, possibilities for your channel. Hopefully, I'll start growing a little bit faster, and I'll be able to do more giveaways. With that being said, I am gonna be doing a giveaway with this video, and I've got three prizes, so there's a first, second, and third place prize so third prize is going to be a set of bright red d-ring shackles uh, they're pretty solid and they do come with uh, some isolators that way if you want to leave them on your jeep they're not going to clunk around and uh, be loud and annoying second place is going to be a two inch 30 foot toe strap and the grand prize is going to be a set of d-ring shackles and a toe strap that comes in a nice uh, carry bag. So I will leave information in the description below on how you can enter into the contest and possibly win one of the three prizes. If you are selected, then I will ship these out to you. I'm just going to need to get a little bit of information from you before I do that. As always, if you enjoy this video, please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner.